What's good and what is glorious, my YouTube family? I am here at the post office today. I've got to make a few sales, okay? I'm shipping a few of these things off. I got a uh, Raiders sweatshirt going to California and that Nirvana shirt that you saw the other day. This one ended up uh, selling on eBay for $70 and you all saw me find it for $2. So I'm going to be here at the post office basically making $115 of something I paid very, very little for. Jumping out the motherfucking gym, baby. Back from the post office. Was about to go get my motherfucking haircut. Line was stupid long. Came to this motherfucking Goodwill because that's where I got the Nirvana shirt that I ended up making about $65 on. So, let's see if I can find some more heat flame for you, baby. Casey, though. Back again in that motherfucking hat rack. Yeah. Always got the icy shit, though. Ooh. Nice little corduroy joint. That stitching embroidery on the front. Not bad, maybe cop, maybe cop. But damn. Look at that statue is just holding up that flame. Whew. That one trucker baby, that'd be so illmatic. A couple of the lame ones. Got them flames on deck. Alright, so I'm jumping off in this t-shirt section. Look through racks. Seriously, fucking nothing. But, they got a little bit of that Tommy, though. Tommy Hilfiger times Man Crush Monday Large. Look at him. My cop. Just to fuck around with. Two bucks. Fuck it. Woo! So your boy is looking fresh. Got that fresh cut. About to hit another thrift store, see if I find anything, and I'll wrap this vlog up. Hey, just got to this motherfucking thrift store, St. Vincent de Paul. What's good, baby? I'm gonna find some fucking heat. Jumping off in this t shirt section, they got that Badgers printed all the way across from sleeve to sleeve with your little boy Snoopy on there. Got that Peanut Productions. Who are the hell now? We got us some vintage t-shirts in here. That Wildlife Illusions, 93, pretty sick. Got that also, Solidarity Week, 1992. That Haiti portrait was really good. You got that cheetah print. Definitely old, tell by the material. Oop, there's a date, 95. What's good with your cheetah print? Also, while I'm here, might as well check out the, the hat section. Got that necklace for days on deck. I ain't got nothing much. Little blank ones. It ain't got nothing, baby. It's motherfucking raining out in this bitch. About to hop in that BM, baby. What's good with you? So, I cop that Haiti tea. Pretty dope, like, fucking print. I got an idea for it. I'm going to start uh, doing, like, bleach tie-dye to some fucking vintage-ass shirts. It's about to be a dope project. Hopefully, I get, like, 10 to 20 shirts on that, but they all have to be black so that when I bleach them in the tie-dye, they look dope as fuck. So, yeah, I only got charged a dollar for that fucking shirt. What's fucking good, baby? All right, so I'm on my way to the gym, but I'm going to stop by two Goodwin Williamson's because uh, they're kind of on the way, so I might as well just fucking vlog them since we're already fucking passing them. Might as well just take video of them. Well, I'll show you before I get anything. So not only do they have these ferociously flame mother freaking trousers. Look at that. We ain't bums no more, baby. Dead stock. Bum equipment. Super comfy. Fuck with me. So this Goodwill kind of has all the shirts mixed in with the t-shirts, but peep this out out of nowhere. Got that Metallica, super sick front and back print from 2000. Also got the APA protection, which I thought was a brand, then you peep that back, WF.com. Don't take this as whipping personally, I told you so.
time again, I gotta tell him Y'all ain't on my level, please get on my level I'm a rebel, I don't give a fuck Nigga, that mean that's a known fact That's an act, I don't know Y'all yeah, ain't niggas that on that Fuck, time and time again, I gotta tell him Y'all ain't on my level, please get, please get on my level I'm a rebel And what the glorious, my YouTube family it's your boy Max Whalen, aka Max Swells, here with my recap for my trip to the thrift episode three. Okay, you all saw me go into these uh, thrift stores. I only got three shirts, so today wasn't a really heavy haul. I'll probably end up showing you all a little bit of my closet. I've got a lot of requests of some of the vintage clothes that I do have, and I'd like to share it with you all. Also, it took me all day yesterday to get my hair cut, go to the post office, go to all these thrift stores. And then I showed you all a little clip of my post thrift workout. So, uh, this is the next day, next morning. Uh, it's great outside, uh, great lighting, so I'm going to show you all what I copped yesterday. Start off in order. Y'all saw me cop that Tommy though. Haven't done any research on this specific t shirt, but it is definitely authentic and real and 100% flamey. Then the second place I got a t-shirt was from the St. Vincent de Paul, and this beach only cost me a dollar, and the fucking print is pretty dope, and like I told you all, I'm about to do this uh, bleach tie-dye project with about 20 or 30 of my vintage t-shirts, and I got this one specifically for that. And last but not least, this is absolutely murderous. This fucking Metallica band t-shirt from 2000 is so fucking ill got that motherfucking summer sanitarium on the back seattle east rutherford chicago i looked it up on ebay and the last one sold for 49 dollars and i copped it for two dollars so i will uh, show you all how the ebay auction goes when i throw it up there so after now i mean you'll have seen everything i got not much so i want to show you all a little bit of my room because some of y'all asked about that my paintings and my vintage collection. All right, so I'll pull out a few pieces for you guys so I can show you all what the thrift stores are capable of. Because everything I'm about to show you has been thrifted. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a few of the jerseys that I found that are just a little bit harder to find, not something that you just run across every thrift store you go to. This is a 1993 Dan Marino Miami Dolphins jersey. I mean, the screen printing on this thing is just ridiculous. The sleeves, I mean, you can just tell the age of this screen printing, but it is so dope, and I copped it for only $2. So holler at your boy, Goodwill, thank you very much. Next, I got this uh, Majestic brand Orioles jersey. Now this thing is also from the early 90s, and I haven't thrown it up on any social media or anything, because I seriously want to get some rockage out of this. This thing is fucking so ill, so ill. Next, I got this fucking Giaccia Sport uh, jacket, which is seriously love flame. Uh, how often are you really going to wear something like this? Who knows, but dude, the print on the back of this thing is absolutely ridiculous. Got all this gold embellishment with that motherfucking tiger print. Plus, look how it looks when you rock it. I mean, ya boy. This motherfucking icy. All right, so the next two jackets I'm about to show you are like literally what got me into thrifting. Cause when I bought them, I got them for a really good price, but I didn't know that until I looked them up and saw how much they were worth. Now the first one I'm gonna show you is this motherfucking Chalkline U of L Fanimation. This thing is fucking immaculate and so dope. I mean, look at the cards print. I mean, you got seriously everything you could possibly want on a jacket is right here. So fucking sick. You got your Cardinal Bird in the back holding that ball, just ready to fucking bounce on some motherfuckers. So sick. Honestly, just so dope. And I got both of these in the same booth at a Peddler's Mall. You know I got that fucking UK XL Chalkline Fanimation as well. So fucking ill. These two jackets are seriously what got me thinking, okay, I can find some dope things in peddler's malls and thrift stores. Now look at the sleeves on this bitch. You got that vintage cats on there. But if you look closely at this guy's tongue, you see that? That's a penis. 
They banned this in 1993. So if you can find any of this UK stuff with that penis tongue, uh, go ahead and cop it because it's definitely more rare than anything after that. Look at the back of this Fanimation. I mean, it is just immaculate. So fucking crispy and clean. I mean, this thing is absolutely sick. Got that Wildcat just roaring. Got the huge print Kentucky Wildcats on it. And I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, so both of these jackets mean a lot to me, and they are fucking so ill. And uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to show you for my closet. Vintage clothes are so fucking sick and hard to find, but if you really put your time in, you can get stuff just like this. But it just takes time in a lot of thrift stores and a lot of flipping through clothes. Uh, I'm going to show you all a couple pairs of shoes that I've gotten out of thrift stores. Now, I don't usually thrift shoes. If you can buy it from a store, usually I don't buy it. But if it's something older, I like vintage things, I like things you can't buy. So I'm going to show you a couple pair of shoes that I've actually gotten from the thrift store. I copped these Jordans about a year ago out of fucking, I think it was Plato's Closet. And that was like, I, up until then, that was all I, I would go to Plato's Closet every once in a while and get some clothes. And I got these things for $7, and they're honestly, like, they were my rockers. Like, these were my motherfucking beaters that I would actually hoop in. I don't know what number, I don't, I mean, these aren't retro. These are, like, one of the mixes of Jordans. But still, a pair of Jordans for 7 bucks. I mean, come on, super dope. Now, this next pair is seriously my grail shoe find of any Goodwill. I do have several pair of Jordans, but not that I bought from a thrift store. But these right here are my sickest shoe find from a thrift store. These were fucking bundled up in some rubber bands, all fucking dirty, and literally all I did was clean them with the sponge. Uh, so the condition that they're in is basically what I got them for $4 at a fucking Goodwill. Jesus price tag. This is fucking some of the best fucking find I've ever found at a thrift store. I just sounded like a complete idiot. But... These white and red 13s are my size, they are sick, and they are uh, something I'm putting into rotation heavy because I got them for $4, why not rock the fuck out of them? But they are from 2008, so they are a little bit, uh, you know what I mean, coming apart, but a dope shoe, dope, dope, dope find from Goodwill, thanks. <laughs> and like I said, I don't usually buy shoes that you can buy from a store, but I got these fucking Janoskis for four dollars at that same Goodwill. So you already know I've been going to that Goodwill four or five times a week to make sure I'm copping all that heat that comes through there. But these are like barely even worn, so you know I had to cop them. Four dollars, I mean, I didn't even clean them. Like this is what they looked like, and they were four dollars, just no laces. So as you can see here, you can find dope shit in a thrift store. You just have to put in your time. And I've only been doing this for about a year and a half. And I think I've gotten some dope shit, and now I'm trying to push this social media and this business, start selling some vintage clothes, and open up a boutique in my hometown, and put Louisville on with some vintage. But anyways, if you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe, please, and follow my uh, Instagram, vintage underscore tees. Uh, and also, you can find me on Facebook if you want, Max Whalen. Uh, holler at your boy, Max Whalen. Max